Today I'm going to show you how to remove, install, and adjust the tension of the belt for the Micromark 3-speed mini drill press. So first what we're going to do is remove the top cover. And then what you'll notice is the motor pulley, the quill pulley, of course the belt between, and these two nuts that are 8 millimeter nuts that help lock down tension of the belt. And for the sake of the video, I've already loosened these slightly so that we can speed up the process. So, to remove the belt, what you're going to do is from either side, you're going to pinch the belt and you're going to rotate the belt towards the front of the drill press while lifting the belt in upwards direction. So while lifting it up, you're going to move it towards the front of the belt and already you'll see that the belt is starting to track off of the quill pulley at the front of the drill press. And then, just like that, it'll pop off. Now to do the opposite, what you do is you hook it onto the motor pulley so it's caught underneath that top lip right there. And with your thumb, you're going to position so that it's flush with the top, the belt is flush with the top of the quill pulley. And you could probably use your thumb only to then rotate the quill pulley and slide it right back into position where it needs to be. Now this was probably a little bit easier too because I knocked the tension nuts out of position. But that's what we're going to show you next is how to make adjustments for that. So let's say that you had an old drill press and you're putting on a new pulley, I mean a new pulley, a new belt. Uh, the new belt is more than likely going to be slightly shorter than the old belt, especially if your belt had broken or um, is just you've made adjustments to it over time. So on this drill press, but the way that we check for tension is by pushing the belt on one side in towards the center of the drill press. And what we're looking for is basically deflection of the belt. And about the the amount of deflection that we're looking for is between 3 sixteenths to about a quarter inch of deflection, meaning how far you can get it, the belt, one side of the belt to push in towards the center. It does not need to be an exact science, or it's not an exact science, but it, as long as it's within 3 sixteenths to a quarter inch, that's good. That's a good tension for this drill press. So, as you could probably tell, my belt is going a lot more, probably, than a quarter inch. It's probably going like a half inch or maybe even a full inch. So we're going to adjust the tension on that. Now, what I said before, these are 8 millimeter nuts. Um, if you don't have an 8 millimeter wrench or socket, what you can use is an adjustable wrench, or you can use pliers. Um, these are knurled, and I'm not going to use these right now because I do have an adjustable wrench. But with anything knurled, you can wrap the nuts in a rubber band um, and try to grip it that way so you don't damage or strip these nuts. Now, these will be tight, especially if this is your first time doing it. If it's an older drill press, maybe over time the, adjust the tension has lost because due to vibrations. But more than likely, these will be on good and tight. So, what we'll do is knock these loose, and what you want to do is you want to loosen these so that it's a full rotation or um, at least a quarter turn, you know, nice and loose like that. And more than likely, one nut is going to be tighter than the other. So let's just adjust that, quarter turn, and I could probably make that go a little bit now without having to use this. Okay, that's good and loose. As you can see now, let me just remove this so it can be exaggerated. This pulley is nice and loose. So we'll slip back on the pulley. On, we'll slip the belt back onto the pulleys. And what you should be able to do is take your thumb either from the top or the bottom, 
grab the back of the drill press, change my angle a little bit, and squeeze so that there you can create tension in the belt. And while you're going, you could try to squeeze the belt to see how much tension you have. I want right about there feels good to me. If you can't reach, grab your hand and grab both the back of the drill press and the pulley at the same time, you can use a flat headed screwdriver to jam it underneath the motor pulley and raise it so that it starts to create tension. You can even do it from the back here, from this nut, by twisting. And it slowly creates a little bit of tension for you. But of course, we're trying to tighten these down so that might get in your way. So let's move back over here. That seems a... Right about there feels good to me. What we'll do is we'll lock down first the rear one, hand tight. We'll do the same to the front one. A little bit more. There we go. We'll still hold tension here, just in case. We'll tighten that down. Once it's snug, turn it about a quarter. It'll probably only let you go a quarter inch more. And then you'll be all set. Just tighten this one down. Make sure you're on. There you go. That's a pretty good, that's good deflection right there. Make sure your belt is on. And in the next video, we will show you how to check to make sure that the quill pulley and the motor pulley are parallel to each other after making that adjustment.